What up guys, first of all I would like to thank my subscribers and viewers for supporting us from then till now and we have chosen some handy comments and requests to review on this specific motorcycle and talking about handpick it's always special and so does this motorcycle today it does have lots of standard dimensions and parts but lots of those parts are handpicked from different sources and different countries from all around the world making it one awesome bike without making further delay let me announce you today's bike is Cross X 250 SE and as I mentioned Cross X Bike is Nepal is the name that comes to our mind. This company already have a reputation for importing powerful motorcycle which perform at its best and very appealing. And they don't stop here. Maybe being the rider owner himself with a good knowledge of bike and parts whether it works or not with a specific bike. And that's where the handpick parts makes the difference. Making the bike very powerful and very performing and at last lasting very long. That's why the company claims Cross X motorcycles are built to last. As to talk more about today's motorcycle, CS250 SE, it's designed in three parts. The chassis was developed in USA, the suspension and body were designed in Canada, and as for the heart, the engine, designed by professional Italian engineers. When you see all those hard works done on outsourcing the companies from all around the world, it gives us a fair amount of trust and a machine that is powerful, beautiful and perform at its best. Earlier, I have been mentioning hand peak parts. I will start with Polisport MMX Halo Headlight, which is produced by Polisport Group from Portugal, a brand which was formed in the 80s, but with their quality products, they have their brand spread out in more than 70 countries worldwide now. And they do specialize in making replica plastic parts for off-road machines, which they make it to last or not get damaged easily on any kind of impact, which concludes it is hard or impossible to break. Accompanying that, we also get Polysport non-homologated tail light for the rear. Another company they have used is ACBs. We have seen ACBs handguards in market and used in different motorcycle. ACBs is indeed a trusted Italian company which has been producing plastic protections, clothing, helmets, accessories and all kinds of protective gears. Also, using ACBs on CX adds more to this mean machine. They have used ACBs handguard which is made in new highly resistant nylon. Bikers Nepal seems to have used every little part from trusted companies to make sure they get the best bike with best parts. We can tell by seeing they have even used SOB's chain guide which does add to appeal and gonna last a while. Also for the tank, they have made great pick using SOB's and also making it 12 liters in capacity adding up to advantage for day to day ride or long trip with this machine. And not to forget, SOB's is a trusted brand. All their products are used by KTM, Husqvarna, Honda, Kawasaki and all other major companies. As I see myself, in CX250 SE, nothing can be taken granted. Every little thing seems to be at its best, like the chain. It's also handpicked from one of the best companies producing motorcycle chains in the world. It is RK Chain, made in Japan by RK Tagasago Chain, which is also being used in lots of other popular dirt bikes around the world. After shedding some light on these handpick accessories, let's talk about the power. The Italian design engine of this machine is 249.6 cc, 4 valve, single cylinder, 4 stroke, liquid cool engine, which can easily produce maximum power of 36.47 bhp at 9000 rpm at any given time. Consisting of 6 gears and surprisingly must be its power. Even in 6K, perform without any glitches while you go uphill and surely RK racing chain making it smoother with less or no friction. And surely not to forget, like we human beings, our machine also does need good airflow system to perform better and output more power. And for bike's airflow system, the filter does the job. And surely being Bikers Nepal, they have used the best filter ever level in the planet and it is not oil filter. And to overcome this amount of power, the braking also should be adequate enough, which they have achieved using 240mm single disc dual piston caliper for front and hydraulic 240mm single disc piston caliper. And for the riders or customer advantage, the new CX250 SE comes with none other than 
the most trusted Japanese brand Nissin, which specializes in producing braking system. Also, largest shareholder being Honda Motor Company, we can be sure it's gonna add more biting power on a braking without a doubt. Not to forget, suspension plays a very important role on good performing dirt bikes, which Cross X Company had kept in mind and has used very precise suspension as all the good branded dirt bikes with a fully adjustable hydraulic for the both front and rear, only rear being a single motor shock. As standard dirt bikes, suspension work better on more pressure after some high air. The suspension does the same, but for the change in our market or country, we don't only go to tracks for the ride and our roads are not less than motocross tracks with ongoing bumps, potholes and other different obstacles. It seems as it will be better if our suspension precisely and constantly works on every little obstacle. So as to meet this requirement, company is using Enduro suspension. So you will feel your suspension working and in motion in every little obstacle which is going to prove to be very useful in our Nepali roads. And as for the console, the company has used vapor, speedometer and tachometer designed by American company Trial Tech. This company specializes on making digital and electrical accessories for the motorcycles. The design is for both on and off-road power sports enthusiasts with clean mechanical design, smart user interface and simple installation. The Vapor digital console provides you every information you need for the ride. And also not to forget the standard dimensions of bike which I haven't mentioned earlier. The length, breadth and height of this bike reaches 2120mm lengthwise, 800mm breadthwise and 1245mm in height with a seat height of 927mm making it high enough as standard dot bikes with a ground clearance of 396.22mm making it high enough for riding in worst of road weighing 110kg making it light enough comparing to its power which ensure bike could be performing fiercely with the ratio of its power to its weight. As for the riding experience, the ride is very comfy, the suspension is works as cheese and the power is overwhelming. Come here my friend. All the hand pick stuff like polispo headlights and rear light, special accessories from Asobis, the handlebars, the tanks from it and the specially made Japanese RK chain and the powerful engine and the enduro suspension to work better in our, in our street and it's Nissin brakes to overwhelm the power created by this machine, then you must be asking the wrong question, my friend. The question should be, why not Cross-X?